Hey guys, my name is Ali Shanali. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to set up Tailwind CSS for your React Native CLI project. So as you can see that I had already set up one project, but we are going to do it from scratch. All right. So first of all, what you have to do, you have to open your new tab and open the Google. So I'm going to open the Google and after that, I'm going to search Tailwind CSS, Tailwind CSS React Native. All right. So once you search Talvin CSS React Native, you went to this website called Native Wind Home. You have to open this open this link in new tab. Once you click on Native Wind, so this is like you know Native Wind, just like a Talvin CSS. All right. So you can use it like totally as you use it uh, on your web. All right. So what we have to do, you have to click on this. Here we can see overview how it how it works, goal and non goals. So you can read about it if you want to read. But we are going to use it for the React Native CLI. So you have to click on React Native CLI. Once you click on React Native CLI, you have to copy this command npx React Native in it or some project to create the React Native CLI project. So I'm gonna copy this, uh, you know, uh, file. Uh, copy this snippet and after that I'm gonna open my terminal. Open um, not open with code open in terminal open terminal and after that i'm going to paste this command to create a fresh react native project so i'm going to make it like you know a uh, native uh, wind kana okay tutorial all right so what it's going to do it will create a fresh react native project so i'm going to create a fresh react native project so it's going to took some seconds so let's wait for some seconds and after that uh, we're going to see that how we set up as you guys can see that first we run this command npx react native in it project name after that it installed the de dependency and after that it's a project has been created now i'm gonna clear the terminal and i'm gonna go inside my project so cd native wind and press the tab just cd press tab and and after that press the tab it will suggest a folder and after that i went to the this project folder all right now after that i'm gonna open the vs code before that i'm gonna open my open close the existing project close the emulator everything i'm gonna close that all right now uh, what I'm gonna do I'm gonna just open the folder directly like this so I'm gonna right click new window okay and I'm gonna just you know drag and drop the folder right quickly right here okay now once you open this uh, project in VS code you can open the VS project like this as well open with uh, code totally up to you once you open the project in the VS code what you have to do you have to open your terminal and run the project so I'm gonna run the project quickly npm start okay so it's gonna took some seconds to start the project because this is the first time for this project so we have to wait for some few seconds and i'm gonna press the a to run on android so while running the project i got one error as you can see that could not move temporary workspace so i'm gonna copy this error message after that i'm gonna open this error in the browser okay so let's uh, search on the browser once you search this error you will find this article okay so the article looks like this you need to change the gradle version from 8.6 to 8.5 so we have to go inside the gradle wrapper dot properties file this file okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to search control p gradle uh, wrapper properties okay now once you so go to the gradle wrapper dot properties here you can see that 8.6 i'm going to make it 8.5 and i'm going to run this project again by pressing the a so let's wait and let's see the app gonna install or not now our app has been successfully installed and project has been set up, set up successfully now what we have to do but before that let me summarize what i had done so far so first of all i run this command and create a fresh react native project after that i went to this directory and you can see that the app is, has been running com perfectly okay but before that let, let me under teach you that what is app.tsx file this is the root file app.tsx okay and most of the people know about this okay so what i'm gonna do guys i'm gonna remove this code quickly okay and i'm gonna remove this code by like this control you know control a and like just delete the code and after that i'm gonna just create a fresh react native component by typing the r n f e okay so what is gonna do it will create a fresh react native component all right now once you're done with that like you can see that we are able to see the app as well there okay the smaller icon okay now you can see that the replace you can click on quick face fix this uh, auto fixable problem okay now let's go back to the browser and here once we done with that we have to copy this command npm install native wine so we have to install the native wine so i'm gonna open my terminal and i'm gonna stop the uh, server and install the native wine Okay, once you install the native wine, the next thing which we have to do that is called npm install 
Cal win CSS at the rate 3.3.2. So again, I'm going to copy this, paste it here. Okay, and hit enter. Once you're done with that, let's go back again on the browser. And what we have to do now, we have to set up the Talwin CSS. Okay, so for that, you have to run npx Talwin CSS in it. I'm going to copy this command, go back to the terminal, and after that, I'm going to paste this command npx Talwin CSS in it. Okay, so what is do? It will create one file that is called talwinconfig.js file. Okay, now once it's created the file, you can see that we have to add this line content line. So I'm gonna copy this line of code, copy, and after that, I'm gonna paste it here. Okay, now if you see that there has been written, like you know, what is telling that if there is any app.js or app.jsx file, so you have to apply the talwin to that file as well. And also, uh, you have to also you can define a custom folder as well. So let's suppose if my all the file, if my all the file is inside the source.ts, like you know, we have a source directory inside that source, we're gonna have all the file. So what we have to do here at the place of custom folder, I'm gonna uh, you know make this src like this, okay? And also, uh, if we have like you know, people usually make the folder structure like this like this source and inside source we're gonna have a screen we're gonna have a component right so this one be uh, you know this way we do as well but some people what does do know some people do like this so this works perfectly but some people do like this in uh, just in, in the root like you know after the app.tsx in this in this root directory they make the screen like this okay so for those people what you guys have to do you have to just you know copy this line of code again and after that let's add a comma and add like this and after this source you're gonna make this screen okay so whatever folder you have in the root directory you can make it so here like what i prefer now most of the time i put my all the folder my all the components inside the source directory but if you are uh, you know putting it on the screen like you know on the root screen so you can have to write like this perfect now let's go back again on the browser okay now once you're done with that you have to add the babel plugin okay so modify your babel.config.js file so let's go back to the babel.config.js file and here you have to add a plugin line of code so i'm gonna copy this block of code okay and let's go back to the babel.config.js file this is my babel.config.js file and after the preset i have to add this plugin code as well awesome now once we're done with this code that's all that's all we are done with that now start writing code now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna you know start my uh, emulator again so npm is start and after that i'm gonna press a to run on android okay so let's press the a quickly now once we're done with that uh, it's gonna install the app but before that let me summarize all the stuff quickly so you guys uh, did not make any mistake so first of all we create a press react native project we went to this start project after that we install native wine then we install the talwin css this version like by copying this command after that to set up the talwin css we run this command npx talwin css in it it's created talwin config.js file after that we had this line content and inside this content we copy this line of code and add the content uh, here like you know as you can see the babel.config.js file okay not here yeah here talwin config.js file will define a inside the source screen all this stuff okay now the app has been installed completely okay and also one more thing which i have to uh, we add inside the babel.plugin file we add this plugins line of code as well here inside the babel plug babel.config.js file awesome now let's go to the app.jsx and here uh, what i'm gonna do i'm gonna write some styling okay for that to write this styling we have to add a class name okay so how we can add the class name let me show you example as well so you have to scroll down and here if you see that here is one example so i'm gonna just copy this class name so i just copy this class name okay and here i'm gonna add this class name okay so if you see once i copy the class name okay once we write, write the class name let's do undo and i'm gonna write class name class name okay and i'm gonna write a uh, text uh, extra large okay so once you write the class name, you can getting that no overload match sale, overload one of two uh, props text props to give the following errors. All right. So how we can fix this error, right? So to fix this error, what we have to do, you have to like if you're if using JavaScript, like if you're using JSX, so it will not get any problem. But let me show you. If I'm using JSX, uh, it will not throw any problem. Perfect. But 
it's not working right now i will explain you why but if you're using tsx so what you have to do uh, let me make it tsx okay and after that you have to go back here and you have to click on type script and here they are telling that you have to create a one file called native wine env.ts file okay let's let's copy this uh, file name after that so let's create a one uh, file quickly okay now once we're done with the file as you can see that native wine env.ts okay now you have to copy this line of code i'm gonna copy this line and paste it here okay now after this uh, let's see it's working uh no it's not working so what else we can do the next thing is that you have to create one file my app okay dot my app dot d dot uh, d dot ts okay now let's paste it here again and let's check it out uh, class name my bad it should be working class name and now it's working perfectly right now again let me delete it i was doing a one typo there uh, the typo mm -hmm. was simple like you know the class name should be like this uh, let me show you example again let's create react native cli uh, copy this line of code class name so what i was doing now i was making a n uh, the smaller one that's why maybe that was causing the error now let's try class name and you know if i you know let's let's delete this file quickly mm -hmm. Now, once we delete this file, it started getting the error. So, what we have to do again? Let me do that. You have to click on type script, copy this file name native wine dot env dot ts. Uh, quickly copy this, uh, uh, and after that, create create new file, paste it here, and again copy this command and paste it here. Okay. Now it has been solved the problem. Perfect. Now, if you see that the Telvin has been applying perfectly. Now let's make it like you know the text size large. Now I'm gonna make this text size as extra large and see it's working or not. Yeah, it's working perfectly. All right. Now uh, we can have a uh, like you know more text, uh, more styling stuff. So I'm gonna make a text. Uh, maybe hey guys, kind of stuff. So I'm gonna add a class name and I'm gonna have a like you know text, uh, a text color as a green uh, 800 it's to 700 600 and now it's become green 100 green all right now same way you can uh, create multiple file here and you can apply talent css so one small thing i just want to add guys that you know whenever i type something let's suppose if i type something you know margin uh, two uh, margin empty so i'm getting suggestion how i'm getting this suggestion right this question also come up so i'm using one extension that is called talvin uh, Talvin CSS all right so this is the Talvin CSS intelligence so I'm using this and that's why it's suggesting me a suggestion all right so yeah this is how we can set up the Talvin CSS to your react native project you can follow this guide uh, this is much more straightforward one and if you guys are have been facing any issue regarding this Talvin setup of react native just let me know in the comment section we'll catch up again in the next video and this is the my official website zero degree recorder dot in you can reach out you can see also awesome, some courses as well all right thank you uh, we'll catch up again in the next video but you know people ask me like you know why you're not uploading the videos so the reason is that you know i'm a bit busy like you know nowadays like with the office works all the things that's the reason but i will try to upload uh, every day um, a good content but thanks for asking question that means a lot to me thanks love you guys bye bye